Hey everybody, I'm Ender. And I'm Stroke. And today we're going to run you through the Ministry of War server select screen as well as the Civilization select screen. Tell you a few things you need to know when picking both. So right now we're looking at the server select screen. And this is really important that you bookmark because it'll save you a lot of time when you want to play. So you just go straight here, you know, sign in and just go straight to the servers. But there are a few important things you should check before you do. And one of them is the events and the news. Right. This is a very important panel right here. This will show you all the updates, all the events we have going. We have events running pretty often and new things to the game. Um, as you can see, you can scroll down. There's even more down here. Make sure you're checking this section periodically because there's always we're always updating it and uh, there's always new things to be seen on there. Yeah, we would never want you to miss anything important. Exactly. We've also got the Hero Evolution Roadmap to Glory, which if you're a new player or if you're just struggling a little bit, you're not quite sure what you should be doing next, kind of gives you a, a good outline of where you should be fighting based on your hero levels. Yeah, make sure you take some time to look at that. But most importantly, the server select screen, this is where you select your servers. Right now it'll show um, all our active servers. Currently there's two, Fury and Wrath. There will definitely be more as time goes on. So we're just going to jump right in and we're going to join the new Wrath server. So once you select your server, you're going to be greeted with the Snail Games logo. That is a really good looking logo. I like it. And it's going to connect to the server. The first time you log in, this may take up to 20, 25 seconds. Every other time it'll be very quick just like that. So right now we're looking at the Civ Select screen and you can see that we have four Civs right now. Rome, China, Persia, and Egypt. Right, so one thing to know when choosing your civilization, each civilization has their own unique specialty. You'll see them all right here in the center panel. Yeah, they all get bonuses uh, that are special and unique to them. For example, China gets a 20% food bonus and uh, a defense bonus. Right, they also, uh, they also have uh, building bonuses. For example, China has a city construction speed bonus. Egypt has a skill research speed bonus all of which will, will help your unique play style. So make sure you, you check them all out and see which one you like the best. And, and the coolest and most exciting part is that each Civ gets two unique units and nobody else can build just that Civ. So for example, in Egypt, you get the Anubis Guard and Chariots. Right, and those are really important uh, units because they, uh, they're units that only your civilization can build. They're really strong units and they're really gonna help you out a lot, especially in uh, PvP, PvE combat and CZ Wars. Another thing you're going to see over here on the left side panel is um, a brief overview of the civilization, some history and some lore behind it. Um, down here you'll see some screenshots, some artwork, and some city views and things like that. Just see which one you like uh, the most because you're going to be looking at, the, looking at this artwork a lot as time goes on. To the right you can see a map of the Civ and there's two important things in here. The first one is the resource bonus. And this is something we give to the Civs that have lower, I mean, player, lower population in them and it'll give them a, a resource bonus to really help them out. Exactly, so what we do is the civilizations with the lesser populations always get a resource production bonus. So for example, if you look at Rome, which on the server right now has the most population, they have a 0% resource production bonus. And then if we go back over to Egypt, which has the fewest number of players relative on this server, they get a full 20% resource production bonus, which is a huge advantage to players in the game because everything comes down to your ability to, uh, to generate resources, to make troops, build buildings, research skills, everything like that. Another thing you have to do is choose an actual area or a province inside of your sieve of where you want to spawn. And each one has eight choices, and if you click through them, you can see the populations that are in there, kind of have an idea of, of where people are going right now. Right, so this is because this is a relatively new server, Wrath, um, you'll see there's some open spots. So in this area, in southern China, there's 127 players out of uh, 649. So choose wisely. Yeah, uh, there's a few things left. You have to choose uh, the gender of your, your player as well as a, an avatar, and choose well because you're going to be seeing this picture for a long time. Then you're going to choose your player name. Totally up to you, but it can only be um, A through Z and 0 through 9. Your castle name you can change later, but your player name you can't, so make sure you choose wisely. And when you're finally convinced that you have the civilization you want, you pick uh, the area that you want to be, and you like your name and your castle, just go ahead and hit Create. And there you go. You'll be brought straight to the first screen of the Ministry of War in-game tutorial. Welcome to Ministry of War.